Welcome to my basement again. Thursday it is again and we are here for five at four. I'm Sally Rogers and today I've decided to share my banjo with you. I don't play the banjo very often these days but uh, I mean who needs to play the banjo when you're married to Howie Burson who plays incredible banjo. So I'm going to uh, sing five songs today on the banjo um, and I hope you enjoy it. I've enjoyed uh, reacquainting myself with several of these songs. So I'm going to start out with one about birds because boy this has been the year for birds in our backyard. We don't even have a bird feeder but we have so many birds in our backyard which the backyard looks an awful lot like that quilt. Ta -da! Somebody asked me uh, last week did I make this quilt and the answer is sort of. I made the quilt. I put it all together but this piece was a panel that I purchased. So I didn't paint that beautiful picture of the heron, but I put the rest of it together. And that is indeed what it looks like on the other side of this wall. So this is called Little Birdie. <laughs> tune it all the time. And when you tune one string it sets all the other ones moving because the bridge is sitting on this movable plastic head. Perhaps with that knowledge you'll be more forgiving. I learned this song from Peggy Seeger and uh, I heard someone just sing it the other night uh, at Old Songs at the Old Songs Festival. And, uh, was reminded of it and it has lots of parts you can sing. Trinity. 
the golden thread, golden thread, golden thread, stitched all over with the golden thread. It's already made, trimmed in brown, stitched all over with a golden crown, golden crown, golden crown, stitched all over with a golden crown. It's already made, trimmed in green, prettiest thing you've ever seen, ever seen, ever seen. Trimmed in white, gonna get married on Sunday night, Sunday night, Sunday night, gonna get married next Sunday night. Well, she wouldn't say yes, she wouldn't say no, all she'd do was sit and sew, sit and sew, sit and sew, all she'd do was sit and sew. Better be making your wedding dress, wedding dress, wedding dress. Better be making your wedding dress, wedding dress, wedding dress. Donny gal. That that uh, she wouldn't say yes. She wouldn't say no. All she do is sit and sew. That that would be me. I was sewing all morning today and what was I making this is gonna sound very strange to many of you particularly the men in the audience but I was making reusable menstrual pads for refugees from Syria and Mexico there are women collecting um, uh, these homemade uh, menstrual pads that are reusable um, and they're really cool, I have to say. I wish I'd known about it when I was still needing them, but I don't, And but they're really fun to make. So that's what I'm doing. One good thing out of menstruation, you know? <laughs> I think that's the first time I've mentioned menstruation while singing. <laughs> um, the next song is an old ballad. One of my favorites. Not only is it a ballad, it's also a ghost song. Lady Margaret. It's so 
gone in the morning, come on, and all men was away. Sweet William arose with trouble on his mind from the dream he dreamed last night. Such dreams, such dreams as a dream last night, such dreams can never be good. Dream my room was full of wild swine, and my bride bed full of Got you here. If any of you are learning the banjo or wanting to learn the banjo, I, I will have to share a secret with you that I learned from Glenn Bemis, who was a motorcycle mechanic back in East Lansing, Michigan. And when I was first learning to play the banjo uh, while working at, at uh, Elderly Instruments there, uh, Glenn gave me this hint. He said, if you take a spark plug and you put it in your right hand and you hold that spark plug, the only thing you can do with that hand is claw hammer banjo. Because in this style of banjo, you play with the back of your fingernails. You don't, you don't pluck it like bluegrass. You play down, it's a downstroke, and it comes straight from Africa. When I was in Senegal, I heard several musicians playing um, a different kind of instrument, but playing exactly the same way with that, that downstroke and with a, a drone that was plucked by the thumb. So anyway, that's what you do. You put a thumb, uh, uh, a spark plug in your hand and then that's all you can do is, is uh, play the banjo and um, this song whoa, wait a minute I gotta fix this so this song is um, one I learned from the singing and playing of Clarence Ashley and he is a beloved um uh, mountain uh, banjo player and you can still hear him though he has since passed but I'm sure if you look him up on the internet you can find him playing this song and his way of playing uh, a little uh, the cuckoo is uh, probably one of the most uh, copied versions uh, of the song that there is so here is the cuckoo <laughs> Now the cuckoo, she's a pretty bird And she warbles as she flies And she never hollers cuckoo Till the first day of July I 
I've played cards in Maine, and I'll bet you my last dollar that I'll beat you my next game. song that I wrote um, and it, I wrote it very much in a traditional style. I uh, wrote it for Howie for our 12th wedding anniversary which was oh my goodness 40 wait 30 we're having 39 this year 39 this year so well, 27 years ago so um, I wrote this song for him and he does a wonderful version of Pretty Sarah and and um, I think that inspired me to write this in the way that I did um, to remind you all that next week, this week as well, but this week's already almost over, next week is the last week of Common Ground on the Hill down in Maryland, and uh, it's virtual this year, and there are tons of incredible classes. There are music classes, art classes, um, Howie's actually teaching a wine tasting class, which should be a real hoot, and I get to be part of it because I'm going to be sitting right next to him. <laughs> and um, and uh, they also have um, social justice uh, seminars and uh, panel discussions that are really interesting and fun to be a part of. So um, anyway, just commongroundonthehill.org. Check it out if you have nothing to do next week or if it's too hot. And um, with that, I'm going to sing you this last song. And don't forget to visit my website, www.sallyrogers.com. Oh, 
today. Hope you have a wonderful week. Hope you don't get too hot or too wet. Seems to be that's our choice. Hot or wet or maybe even both. Have a great week. Bye-bye. <laughs>